Hey guys, it's me again, Teacher Sam, and I'm so glad to be with you here again because I actually wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever met a famous person before? You know, a real celebrity, like someone who makes a grand entrance and walks on the red carpet. Someone from TV or the movies, or someone who plays a sport or anything like that? Raise your hand if you have. I, oh, I see your hands. Tell me about the next, oh, okay. You know what? That's great. You know, I myself have not met a lot of celebrities, but I can remember one time I met a pretty famous actor and comedian. And how do you think I felt? I remember walking up to him, not knowing what to say. And guess what? It turned out okay. We talked about basketball players like Rick Fox and 90s music icon Vanessa Williams. I remember another time when I met my favorite comic book artist. This was a regular kind of guy, except that he'd draw Superman, Batman and Robin, and the X-Men. So guess how I acted when I saw him? I got so scared, I looked like I saw a ghost. I was like, <gasps> my wife was making fun of me because she's never saw me so starstruck before. You know, famous people can make you feel all different kinds of ways. And in today's Bible story, I'm going to talk about what happened when a really famous guy, Jesus, entered into Jerusalem. Our story is found in Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 to 11, as well as 14 and 16. Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. Luke chapter 19, verses 28 to 40. And John chapter 12, verses 12 to 19. Now, I know that sounds like a whole lot. But that's because four different people wrote about this story because it was so important. So the last time I talked about people following Jesus, people heard all about the wonderful things that he's done. So people started to wonder if Jesus was the Messiah. The Messiah means the promised one that God promised to save the people. So people actually thought Jesus would come in like a general and take over like a powerful and mighty warrior king. And that's exactly what they wanted. But it's not exactly how Jesus made his grand entrance. As Jesus was entering Jerusalem, he told some of his disciples to get him a small young donkey. Not a big old strong horse, but a small donkey. Why? Because he wanted to show that he wasn't coming to bring war. Jesus was coming to bring peace. So the disciples did it. And when they heard that Jesus was coming, when the people heard, they all lined up on the sides of the road. And they were screaming and shouting and cheering, just like at Disneyland. Some people even started taking off their robes and cutting down palm branches. And they were laying them at his feet to make a path for Jesus and his donkey to walk on. Kind of like a fancy red carpet, except... They just were grabbing whatever they could at the moment. The people shouted, Hosanna, which meant save us now. You see, the people were still expecting Jesus to be a warrior king. But as our story will continue into Easter, we'll see what Jesus really had planned to save us all. You know, this short story is kind of the beginning for a pretty busy and a pretty important week in the life of Jesus and for all of us. Jesus came to save us, not in the way some thought like a warrior king, but the way he did and the fact that he did is so worth celebrating. So I hope that today and the rest of this week, we all can find ways to celebrate Jesus. So I'm hoping that you all can share that with me. If your grownups are on Facebook or Instagram, have them tag oh have them tag new north kids okay new north kids that's on instagram and facebook tag us and show us how you're going to celebrate jesus this week an easy way to do that is to find or to get your activity bag <clears throat> excuse me that teacher tracy prepared for you hopefully you guys all picked it up and take pictures of what you made or take pictures of different ways that you are going to celebrate Jesus this week. 
I can't wait to see your responses. Well, before I go, I'd like to say a quick prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for you, and we thank you that you and your Son and your Spirit are all worth celebrating. As we prepare our hearts for Easter, I pray that you would work in each and every one of us so that we may better love you and better serve you. Lord, I pray this week that we would all find ways to celebrate you. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, I miss you so much, and I can't wait to see you. But until then, I can't wait to see what you post on Instagram and Facebook. Have a great day.